I'm not an interior designer and you're not going to see me picking out and leading a client to, through the interior design process. I am in charge of the interior designers and I'm their manager, but that's more of making sure that the clients are taken care of the way that I expect them to be taken care of. So I'm managing their expectations, making sure that, that the whole process is going smoothly. But I rely on an interior designer to do what they've been trained to do. They know how to do it and I've had clients clients come to us that have been through a remodeling process with someone else and they don't have an interior designer on staff. It's a family member, it's a whatever, but they're not an interior designer. And they are frustrated with the process because they take them to the store and they go to a tile shop or something and they're like, hey, um, pick out a tile for your bathroom. And they're like, oh, wait, this is your interior design phase that I thought I was getting this. It's so overwhelming for them. So Fernanda has done such an amazing job of getting to know the client before they even sell a contract with us. She knows their style and she's pre-picked things for them. So they're coming into a curated, this is what your bathroom should look like. Here's some different price points. This is some different options. And sometimes they're like, no on any of these and then they say okay well we're gonna do some more research but they don't keep them there running around looking for things that's not the client experience that we want our clients are doctors lawyers you know school teachers they have demanding schedules school teachers are actually the ones that have the most demanding schedules and so we need to be respectful of these clients time their energy even because it's exhausting picking these things out and we should be the ones doing like the legwork all of the hard work for the client <laughs>